And switching gears now to Francine Recovery, Intergy says the areas of Terrebonne Parish hit hardest by Francine should have power back by tomorrow evening. Thousands of homes there are still in the dark. As Lily Cummings shows us, days after the storm, plenty of people are in need of help and plenty are stepping up to lend them a hand. Helpers over here passing out. Here you go, bud. At Living Word Church in Shriver, they're on a mission. Hello. To feed those in need following Hurricane Francine. I did meals, I was scooping green beans, and then now I'm doing bags. Nine year old Braden Dedevo is lending a hand. It feels like really good, and it just feels like it's right. The congregation partnered with Second Harvest Food Bank, the National Guard, and Mercy Chefs to dish up meals twice a day since the storm. A lot of people, you know, still struggling from Hurricane Ida and that devastation. So they can come here, they can get a hot meal, and uh, we can love on them, pray with them, uh, make sure that the body of Christ is doing what we're called to do. Since Hurricane Francine, the church has distributed around 7,000 of these meals. Compare that to three years ago, Hurricane Ida. 30,000 meals in three weeks. Pastor Scott Roten is one of thousands still without power. We're one of the last holdouts at my home, but it, it won't be long. Linemen are busy throughout the parish. This area near Highway 24 in West Main is one of the last spots to repair. Residents across the parish are giving thanks that there was less damage than Ida, meaning a faster recovery. Back at Living Word, church members are cleaning up down trees. Just a huge collaboration. Uh, we all love each other and we love serving together. Our community, we love this, this community. This is the bayou, this is Cajun country, it's our home. And even the youngest down the bayou know when your community is in need, you help. It's not because we're doing it to get paid, it's just because we're doing it because we know that those people need it. In Terrebonne Parish, Lily Cummings, WWL, Louisiana.